Hi, I'm Katie McClellan from De La Salle Yoga Studios, and this is a video demonstration of a drop back, so from standing into full wheel pose. So this is obviously very, very advanced. There aren't gonna be a lot of yogis that do this, but if it's something that you're aspiring to or something that you wanna teach your students, there's certainly some tips and tricks that can help move you towards this, this goal. Um, you know, one thing you can do is simply walk yourself down a wall and walk yourself back up so it feels a lot less scary, a lot less vulnerable than doing it in the middle of the room. A drop back really depends on your chest and your shoulders having enough range of motion to facilitate this. So it, it has to do with the fronts of the hips and the lower back as well, but really it's the upper body moving into this, into this sort of, um, I think of it as like a, a V position through the front of the chest and then up and back. Um, you can think of it too as almost curving your upper body over a big imaginary beach ball and trying not to touch that ball. So the thoracic spine is really pushing towards the front of the body. The scapula is moving back. The chest is broadening as the arms go back, okay? Now, a neat way to just open the shoulders for this is to put your hands into reverse prayer. My mic is in the way, but if you could get your hands higher up the spine, this would be really helpful. And you roll the shoulders back and you simply practice going up and down a few times this way. So you get the feeling of moving back in space with your shoulders as far back as possible, okay? If you're going to your full drop back, I try to keep my legs as straight as I can. They're gonna bend a little bit, but I try to keep them straight. The hips press forward. I've got my thumbs towards my heart, and then I'm gonna take them up and over, okay? So I try to keep my feet flat. And once my hands come down, I'm gonna coordinate the breath to help me come back up to stand. So I inhale to bend the knees, exhale to straighten the legs. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale, Inhale to come up, and my focus is on the hands coming together, and I'm pulling that energy back to the center of my chest. And then I exhale to go down. And I finish the exhale here. Inhale to come up. So you see there's this rocking motion happening. So I go back, and I try to push my chest, and then stand up. So um, again, you can just practice that idea by being in full wheel pose, rocking back and forth, inhale to bend the knees, exhale to straighten the legs, and then simply coming down onto your back instead of standing up. So that concludes my demonstration of a drop back. Namaste.